Hey bass players, it's Miss Slaminski and I've got a video for you about tuning. If you are especially a middle schooler or a high schooler and you're thinking how do I take my tuning to the next level or how do I tune like an advanced musician? Um, here's a couple of steps that pro musicians would use. It's always a good idea to use a tuner for at least one string. Um, a tends to be the string that we tune to a tuner because every instrument in the orchestra has an A. So it's just kind of the tradition. So I have checked my A with a tuner. I also just checked that my bow is ready to go. What we're going to be doing with our bow um, just requires it being tight enough, having enough rosin on there that you get a good grip. So, um, and making sure that your strings are nice and clean. We are going to be using something called harmonics. So if you have ever touched on your string, there are some, while you're using your bow, you might have heard some kind of ghosty sounding notes. They aren't everywhere on our fingerboard, but there's a lot of them throughout. There are some spots that really ring out super well, so I want to help you find a, three of the main ones first and we're going to use those to help tune. Halfway between your bridge and where the string bends up here, that's called the nut, so halfway between those two spots, we land at the halfway point of your string. We call this the halfway harmonic. You can also find it by taking your, your left hand, just laying your wrist across the edge. Your thumb's probably going to land pretty close to where this note is. press down, pressing my thumb down and then play that same note, it should make the same exact sound whether it's just touching or actually pinching the string down like that. If it was like this, I know I'm not quite in the right spot. So try to find the halfway harmonic on your bass. This halfway harmonic is making the sound that is the next higher version of your open string. So on G, if I add my thumb at the harmonic level, it's making the next higher G. This can be a really nice way to just check your tuning with a tuner. Because some tuners, many of them, have a hard time picking up the low frequencies of our lower strings, especially the E string. So it can often pick up, a tuner can often measure open G, open D fairly well. Sometimes it needs some help, but particularly for A string and E string, you can check your harmonic, your halfway harmonic A with a tuner. Okay, even with my recording right here too. So that was the first spot. You know that you found the harmonic here by um, by doing that pressing test and by the sound of it. it a harmonic in the right spot should ring out and last for quite some time, at least five seconds. If it has a dead sound or it only lasts for one second or something, you are not, not in the right spot. We'll use those same ideas to find a couple more harmonics. So I know you probably know pretty well, high D. I want you to go find high D on your bass, so four fingers in third position. Or if you've got tapes on your bass, it's the highest tape. I also think of it as right across from the curve, right here, okay? So your pinky is gonna go there and point your finger on, like on the first finger tape. Your pinky and first finger if they are just touching right here in these spots, they are also gonna make some very um, like clear ringing out harmonic sounds. So take a moment to try out those harmonics on each of your strings. Can you make them ring out nice? Okay. Funny thing, if I start on E string, Got fourth, first finger here. And then compare that.
pair that to four fingers on my next string, it sounds exactly the same. Here's an idea to think about. Think lower finger on a lower string, higher finger on higher string. So point uh, finger one on a lower string and finger four on the next higher string should make the same sound. And that is another principle we're going to use to tune our bass. This is like kind of the advanced tuning method. So um, if you haven't tuned your bass to a tuner, use my A to check that your A's in tune. That's our step one. Step two, get your hand in position. We know that A string is in tune, so we're gonna start with our hand in that space. Check that one, four. I might even just check that I can get good, um, good sound for those harmonics. Leave your first finger here on A string. Put your pinky on D string. So you're going to the one string higher. Compare A with one to D with four and then try them both together. If you get a weird, you know, on a bass you can feel um, if, if the note is in tune. You can literally feel it. There will be kind of a throbbing feel if it's not quite there. Um, you might be able to hear some wah-wah in what I'm about to play. If they are not quite there, there's going to be some little like wah wah feel, or you might hear kind of the buzz of a mosquito. I'm going to make my D a little out of tune on purpose. I can really hear the wah 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 and a throbbing feel in my fingers because they don't really match up. So. It is good to do it separate first, like this. You might be able to hear right then if the D string is not quite in tune yet. I could tell that my D was kind of low, so not too far off, but I'm going to... It's always a good idea to keep your bow moving while you are tuning a string. I was playing just open D, making sure my bass is balanced on my hip. peg up here, the right tuning screw. Um, if you think you've got it, then go back and check A, or finger one on A, four on D. Does it sound similar? When I played both notes together, they sound like the same exact note. There was no throbbing feel, so I know that those two strings are in, uh, they're matching, they're in tune. Now, so we got two strings in tune. Next up, I would move my hand over another string. One on D string, four on G. Well, I can hear that they're not quite on. Could you hear that kind of change? Uh, yeah, didn't sound good. I could tell G was high. If you're not sure which direction to go, but it sounds bad, I would loosen up, go keep your hand on the harmonics while you're tuning, but even doing what I just did, comparing some open strings to each other, your ears probably know a little bit of what to do. To my ear, that sounds pretty good, so I'll check it with my harmonics. Not exactly there. So I keep on fine-tuning that until those do indeed match, and then make sure I don't forget to take fourth finger on A, compare to first finger on E, and check that those are in tune as well. Hope that was helpful. I would definitely go back and just make sure you take some steps. Um, get really good at making those sounds of a harmonic. They really help out as a bass player, and it actually shows up in some of our solo music too. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.